second body, you accidentally kick the third corpse on the floor. <laughs> its eyes flick open and quickly sits up and slashes at you with its long, sharp fingernails. Test your luck. You, you pass. If you're lucky, the creature misses. If you're unlucky, it has caught you across the leg and you suffer one stamina points from turn to 230. That's just shitty. Oh, there he is. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Hey. Hey, mate. Hey, you, you got the doing? time? <laughs> hey, why are you kicking me? <laughs> hey, hey, why are you kicking me? <laughs> Would you... <laughs> the creature now standing before you is a semi-decayed man. His eyes dart from side to side watching you. His long tongue flashes out with a hissing noise. His teeth and nails are sharp, and he doesn't seem to be afraid of your weapon. He is a ghoul! He's got eight skill and seven stamina. He's gonna get fucking wrecked. Wait, wait, wait. He has the ability to paralyze you if he scores four separate runes on you during this battle. So beware. If you defeat him, turn to 390. So he has to me four times. I don't think I'll defeat him. In a row. Oh, in a row. Jesus. <laughs> No, four seven runes on you during this battle. Yeah, whatever. Two, six, eight, eight plus eight is sixteen. Eight uh, fifteen. You, you do nothing. You, nothing. Else. You clang. <laughs> Your sword against his hand. Which <laughs> you? Uh, he rolls a five. So five Thirteen. Thirteen. You win. I win. He's down. Because that's your... Oh, wait, no, you... That's my base now. Oh, yeah, shit, so you beat him last time, too. Oh. So now he's down to three. Two. You, you beat him. He rolled a three. <laughs> oh, my God. One. Six. Seven plus eight is 15. I beat him. You beat him. Well, no, I guess I could claim, technically. Yeah. You beat him, because you rolled a six. Uh... All right, God. 390. Do I get to search his body too now? Probably. Oh, 390. That's fucking way in the back. There you go. I'm right here. If it's if they're like huge distance apart, I can get up to him really quickly. Because it's just like you yeah. know that you can just scroll super far. The goal twitches and dies at your feet. The goal. The goal. <laughs> your goal. The you banana guy. Yeah. <laughs> goal. Stupid hooliganism. Stupid. Hooliganism. Look it up. You search, you search its body and find little of interest. A couple of earrings worth one gold piece between them are in one of the pockets. So you put it down as one gold piece or... No, just earrings, I guess. Well, I think we sh If it refers them to a gold eye, you probably just put it as gold piece. Whatever, just put earrings, one gold. Earrings... So they're technically two. two gold, yeah. Earrings, two gold. And five gold pieces. Gold. And five gold pieces. So I'm up to... 38 gold. You can stop here and eat. Oh, neat. And you can add uh, two luck points for killing the ghoul. So you can either go north or search the second body. Search the second body. 393. You search the pockets of the other body and find eight gold pieces, a bottle of liquid, and an old piece of parchment. You may take these items. To read the parchment, turn to 212. So I'm going to write down my new gold score. 46. So to test the liquid... You can turn to 369, or you can... What does it mean by test it? Probably just... Sip it? Yeah, probably. That's just stupid as fuck. Oh, uh, it's uh, probably holy water or something. This, yeah, there may be a route where you go through here and then the vampire. Yeah. So, 212. I don't know if I want to sip it or read the map. Or the paper oh, you want to read the parchment. Right, right, you can write down 369 as test liquid. Wait, what page are we on right now? 393, yeah, just write that down then. <coughs> Uh, two, I'll read the parchment. Two, twelve. The parchment is well worn and almost illegible. It is a map of some sort, headed oh the maze God, of Zagor. You just chose the second one. Uh, you can make little sense of it, although a room to the north is marked Gur, and another one. <laughs> <laughs> Gur. And, Gur. And the other. No, no, it's dot 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 Gur, as if there's three letters, miss. Oh, God damn it. Nigger? <laughs> oh, John. It's the one guy. The, the buff the buff black guy. <laughs> yeah, he's there. And another that is marked this. S-M 
dot 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 p dot 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 el. Does dot 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 necessarily no, represent? No, I think each? I think it just represents. In you fold up the map and put it in your pocket. If you have not yet tested the liquid or wish to do so, you may turn to three sixty nine. Yeah, let's test it. All right. If this dies, I'm, I'm sending you back because that's bullshit death. Nah. When you said Gur, I just imagined saying G U U U U R. <laughs> Gur. I thought you were laughing because you got the joke. Oh, I didn't realize you made a joke. I'm sorry. Anyway. You swallow some of the liquid. Turn to 109. What? That's it. You swallow some of the liquid. <laughs> Turn to 109. <laughs> What page was the other one going to make you turn to 109? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, at least we know I won't die instantly from drinking it. I, I just like... You swallow some liquid. That's it. It's, it's water. Got, it, it's water. Take a sip. <laughs> Sign a check. Will you? Get the stretch. Hollywood. Sorry, that was uh, Uptown Pump. The liquid is smooth and watery, and as you drink it, it you begin to glow... You feel euphoric and a little drunk at the same time. Your confidence grows and your wariness disappears. This bottle contains holy water. Oh Blessed by over priestess of Kayanes Ma, it has restored your stamina almost to full strength. Increases your stamina by two points. Oh, oh wait, wait, below your initial. I'm already above that. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all right. If if your if your stamina was higher than this, leave it as is. You're strong enough. All right. Add points to your current skill to take the total to one point under your initial skill if you had lost any, which you had. Any. You may I'm add fucking above initial four luck points. At my max luck points. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, so many luck points. I should just use a luck point every fucking time now. Yeah, yeah. If you Jesus. have already looked at the parchment, you may leave the room northwards. If you have not, you may look at it and turn it to 12. Or you may forget about it and go north anyway. <laughs> You're like, I don't fucking need to read. So we're going to 120. You leave the chamber, walk down a short passage, and reach a staircase going up. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top in a passageway. Turn to 197. That booty, though. No shit. There is no shit in it. Oh, I thought this was it. I was going to be so pissed. At the top of the stairs, the passage turns sharply to the east. As you pause to get your bearings, you hear a creaking in the rock behind you. You spin around in time to see a heavy portcullis drop to seal off the passageway behind you. Your only way now is forward. You may either press on forward, or you may check the walls for secret passages. What? I feel like there's secret passage, but I, I don't really... I just want to go forward. I mean, I'm fucking looking for secret passages. No, right down the page. It's 197. 197. I feel like you're just going to press a button, and then you the uh, spikes come out of the floor. Probably. I don't know. The Devil's Flight has just given me a bad taste in my mouth when it comes to, to adventure books. The House of Hell? Imagine that. Oh, yeah. Literally, if you choose the wrong wine... And it wrecks. 48. You are in an east-west corridor. What? I, I guess you found a secret passage? I think it means the room... Oh, yeah, I guess not really. If you go east, you will turn the corner northwards. To go this way, turn 391. So the page you're going to go to anyway. To go west, turn 60. 391. Nice. Hey, fucking... This book. I don't know what's going on anymore. How are you supposed to keep a map of this? I don't know. Yeah, you need a huge piece of paper. You need, like, seven flow papers. Sorry. Let me know what that is. That's just a really long paper. Yes. You are at the south end of a north-south corridor. That's just confusing. It runs north-south. Look, looking northwards, you can see a passage coming off from the east wall. Do you... Uh, do you want to go up to this passage... To check the secret, or to check for secret passages as you walk northwards, or to go south, following a bend to the west. How are you supposed to decipher which one is a good one? You're not. So you can look for secret passages as you go north. Let's fucking just do that. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
This book is I feel like 80% of the book is fucking just... Do you want to go left or right here? Two, two, two lines. As you try uh, as you try the walls of the past way, a secret door opens up along the west wall. No door left unopened! <laughs> Turn to 177! No door left unopened. No door left unopened. The uh, the battle cry of a generation. 